What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Avatar The Last Airbender Appa figure by McFarlane Toys. Now if you guys have been following my channel and especially if you see my last two videos you guys will know that I'm a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan and when I saw the McFarlane Toys got the license to make Avatar The Last Airbender Toys and when I saw just how amazing they looked I definitely had to go ahead and pick them up. So today we're going to start by taking a look at Appa but if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit those notification bells because not only did they make Appa, but I have all of the other figures that they've made, including Aang with his air glider right here. And then we also have Zuko as well. So Zuko's looking very nice. And then we have Sokka, which is just amazing. One of the only Sokka figures made and the best looking Sokka figure made, uh, in my opinion. And now I also have Katara that has been ordered and I ordered her at the same time I ordered the rest of these, but she is on back order. So hopefully we'll get her by the end of the week. I'm not too sure when she's supposed to come in, but whenever we do get her and we get her in, we'll definitely be taking a look at her. But let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the packaging on Appa before we get him out of the packaging. So uh, right off the bat, you can see it's not even an open window. It's just a big opening. So you can actually fully touch the figure and everything right here and I should mention that these are exclusive to Walmart these particular figures so not only the Appa but the Aang, Sokka, Katara and uh, Zuko that I just showed off are all exclusive to Walmart uh, but anyways the packaging is really nice you can see all the different like elements for the different nations kind of there in the background you have Aang and the Avatar state right there you can see Appa again and there you just get a good look at Appa and I like the little mountain backgrounds that are in the packaging as well but yeah, fully open so you can actually touch the figure and do whatever you want. Uh, here you just get that continuation of the letters and the nations and everything like that. And then coming to the back, you do get a little read up on Appa. So if you guys want to pause that and read, you can go ahead and do so. And then you get an uh, image of Appa straight from the cartoon, which is very nice. And then coming to this side, you just get like a continuation of like a little like mountain design. It looks like swooping up here, but then the, all the nation elements uh, symbols right there. So that's it for the packaging. So let me go ahead and get Appa out of the packaging. And I will say right off the bat, he already feels massive and hefty. Like this is a pretty heavy packaging. So I am really looking forward to this. So let me go ahead, free him, cut him up out of the packaging. We'll take a closer detail look all at right, him. All right, you guys. And here is Appa out of the packaging. And wow, like... All I can say is, wow, this figure is absolutely amazing. And let's talk about the value. $20 for this figure. It is huge. It is massive. It weighs a ton. And the amount of detail in here is just absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a nice close look at this face right here. Because, man, this is just one really nice looking facial expression. It really, really just captures the likeness of Appa. It just looks very realistic. And there's just so much detail and sculpt work in here, man. It's absolutely crazy how much detail they have in here. So I'm just gonna kinda go through the figure uh, just really quickly and then we'll deep dive into everything. But man, look at all that fur just sculpted in. And of course you have his saddle as well, which again is detailed itself, which looks very nice. Man, so good. And then back here to the tail, all the detail continues on. And coming back to this side is gonna be the exact same thing. But man, just look at that sculpt work in the fur. It's just absolutely amazing. And coming down here to the bottom, even on the underside, you have that detail there on the paws as well as like the belly and the tail. Man, and I just, man, <laughs> I am so blown away by this figure. I can't get enough of it. So let's just go through the details and I'll zoom out just ever so slightly so we can just fit a little bit more in the frame. But here is the, the head right here and it looks good. Like I mentioned before, it looks very, very nice. And of course you do have the open mouth and even the teeth look very nice as well and the tongue. And you do see the hinge right here because it does have an articulated jaw. So you can give like a more kind of relaxed pose right here, like a more serious or just like a dopey pose and then you can go ahead and just get like a little bit open right here just kind of like almost like a growl type of thing and you can just get full on just like open mouth growl just aggressive oppa which i just i love all the different options you get it's, it's amazing what just like one little hinge and one little movement of the jaw can actually do as far as just like the different expressions you can get out of it it just looks very nice like i mentioned you do have all the amazing fur you can see the arrow right there painted on very nicely and I like how it's just painted right over the furs to keep that consistent texture going I think that's very nice I would say the only thing really that they missed is um having like the actual um like rope right here that connects to his horns but that would be probably a little much but it's all right we don't really need it I don't really feel like I'm missing all that much but and again I like all the detail of the fur right here as well as 
the brown that's painted on there. Very, very nice. It looks like it was airbrushed. You can see like a little haziness around the edges right here. So they didn't get the cleanest lines. But because Appa is like a furry character, it works out. It, you know, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, so I do like that. And like I mentioned before, you have the saddle, which again has its own uh, very nice detailing as well. It is just done in all brown, but still all the details are sculpted in there, which look very nice. And you have the little like sleeping bag, which is done in like this goldish color right here. Uh, and then you can even see, man, look at that detail in there. You got the little like uh, just supplies inside of the sleeping bag, which is again a nice little detail. And then you can see like the straps and whatnot. And just all the different textures on here, man, is just really, really mind blowing. And coming down here to the tail, again, more fur and everything sculpted in. So there you go. So uh, this figure doesn't really have that much articulation. Um, so the head can move basically left and right and up and up, up and down slightly, but not much. But the head is on a ball joint, so you can get like a little bit of movement out of here. So you can do that, or you can have just like an angry pose doing that as well. So different options as far as that goes. Uh, now the legs, unfortunately, do not move. Um, it's not that big of a deal for me because they do have them in a pretty decent pose. Like there's not really much you're going to be able to do uh, with the legs anyways. Uh, but maybe if somebody wanted to pose, you know, pose him kind of like standing up like this, like he does in a few episodes or whatever. Um, but other than that, I don't really feel like you're missing much not having any articulation in the legs whatsoever. Now the tail is articulated and there is some minor assembly required once you take this out of the packaging. You do just have to snap the tail in place. It's just on a peg. So you just kind of stick it in and that's, it's on a ball joint, uh, not a peg, but it's on a ball joint and you stick it in and it clips in place and you can unclip it if you wanted to, uh, to save space on the shelf. But uh, because it is on that ball joint, you do get a little bit of articulation. You can kind of just like rotate it just like the head. Uh, it is a little bit more stiff uh, because it is restricted by this fur right here, but you can at least move it up and down ever so slightly if you did want just a little bit of a slightly different pose out of that tail. So you can have uh, the tail kind of upwards or you can have it uh, just a little lower to the ground like so. Uh, but like I mentioned before, this is a really heavy and hefty figure, man. It just feels solid. It feels really good. And I can't believe that this figure is only $20. I thought something like this, uh, this size and this magnitude of detail and everything uh, would be more closer to the $40 price range. But uh, McFarlane absolutely nailed it, man. Appa just looks incredible. I cannot wait to take a look at the rest of the figures from this set, man. Just uh, so, so good. And for a quick comparison to the only really Appa figure that I have in my collection and one of the only oppa figures that's really ever been made other than obviously this new one right here uh is the funko pop version uh this is the flocked version i do have the standard version as well uh but this is the bigger six inch version so it just fits a little bit more closely to this version but you can see uh this is obviously you know a funko pop it's meant to be stylized and like super extra cartoony and the proportions don't really fit with it or anything like that uh, but you can just see like the night and day difference and how amazingly realistic this McFarlane Toys ones look. It's just, man, so, so good. I am very, very excited to have this in my collection. And I still love having this one, but man, this one is just absolutely amazing and just... Oh, I, I, I can't stop geeking out over All right, it. you guys, so there is my quick review of the brand new McFarlane Toys Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. Wow, like, I, I know I've said it all throughout this video, but honestly, I really cannot just get over how massive, how detailed, and how affordable this figure is, man. I am so excited to have this entire wave. Uh, the only thing that sucks about the Zuko and Aang and all those figures is that they are a smaller 5-inch scale. I would have liked to see like a 6 or 7-inch scale. That's just the, the size of figures that I prefer to collect. But either way, I'm still really excited about this line, and I feel like McFarlane just really has the best-looking Avatar line right now. For the longest, it was Diamond Select was like the only uh, players in the game as far as uh, it came to Avatar figures but uh yeah i'm definitely done with the uh diamond select line they just haven't been looking as good lately like uh Sokka doesn't even look like Sokka the new avatar state ang has just like way too big of a head for the body uh the articulation hasn't really been all there for them so yeah, I'm definitely done with Diamond Select, and I'm picking up everything that McFarlane makes, especially if it's just to this type of quality that this Oppa figure has, man, because it is just, oh my god, like, look at all of this sculpted work in here for a $20 figure, like, I can't, I, I really can't get over it, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, share this video with your friends, be sure to follow me on Instagram, that link's in the description down below, and also be sure to check out some of my other Avatar videos that are popping up on the screen for you guys to click on, so I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here, as always, guys, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.